Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. So my friends, we're going to take a look at another RC construction vehicle. And this is going to be my last vehicle. I'm not doing any more. My, constr uh, my construction fleet is built up enough where I don't need to get any other stuff. Maybe down the road somewhere I will get something else. But anyway, let's talk about this right here. So this is a road roller this is a 120 scale from a double e now the volvo stickers i added that myself on to the vehicle since i had them laying around why not use them all right so as you know like i said this is a road roller or a steam roller and this is a single cam or a single drum that do have a dual version of not like not this one right here not from double e but they are there's two different types of steam rollers, uh, road rollers. There's single drums and then there's dual drums. Of course, you know, dual, you know, dual, you know, it's gonna be another drum on the back. Uh, that's for like after paving and stuff. When they're paving in and stuff, you know, they'll have both of those on there. But this right here is kind of basically for like a, a final preparation kind of type deal from what I've uh, seen about it. Um, but this will be for like, flattening out the surface, uh, making it more denser, more stronger for building roads and pathways on. So this is what this is for. So I figure I get one of these since I am going to be doing a few little roads and stuff like that and building the, the uh, construction site. This will be a great way to uh, help with the, the roads and also keep up with the construction site as well. So it won't be so ruddy and all that good stuff. But yeah, anyway. Now, let's talk about what comes with the vehicle. Now, this is a complete RTR, but other than it doesn't come battery, you know, it doesn't come with batteries for the controller, but it does come, uh, it does, <laughs> it does come with the batteries and charger for the vehicle. So, the battery we have here is a 4.8 volt, 400 milliamp nickel hydrate metal battery with the old Tamiya plug right there, as you see that. And then we got the standard five hour wall charger. We all know about that. This is kind of showing the age on this vehicle because it is an older model. Well, older electronics. They have a newer model, it's the same thing, but with newer electronics. And let's show the controller off. Wham! <laughs> My friends, some of y'all know what kind of system this is running off of. The old antenna days. You know what I'm talking about? The old antenna days. Flip it around so you can see. Well, I had it right. <laughs> 27 megahertz. I hadn't used a 27 megahertz controller in... Eight? Nine years? since 2.4 gigahertz came out. So, yeah, that's crazy. So, <laughs> but anyway, the controller here. So we have our forward, backwards, left, right. Uh, nothing on these, these little PS2 controllers WE likes to use, but uh, these buttons don't do anything. Then we got a couple buttons here. So we got one that has a key. To start the vehicle, you have to push that vehicle, uh, you have to push that button. Then you got your horn, and also if you hold down that button, it shuts down the sound. Uh, over here, we have a, I believe a demo mode. I think it's another demo mode. I one of these is, is a demo mode. I think both of them might be, I can't remember. I think it is, but yeah. All right, and then we got two buttons up top here that operates the vibration on the on the uh, on the machine there because this front will vibrate, so it pushes that sand and dirt down and stuff like that, uh, rake up whatever stuff. So that's what these two buttons do. So yeah, turn around on the back. Look at that. Who remembers those days? Comment down below if you remember the old 27 hertz days that we had to run crystals and stuff like that to be able to run all together at one time. <laughs> Let me know if you know about those days or say, hey, I don't know anything about those days. I'm not that old. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so 
let's go ahead, pop in the battery, get this thing a little whirl here on the desk, and uh, eventually we'll take it out and uh, run it and see how it does in the dirt. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we got the batteries installed. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. So we have to click this little key button right here. Fires it up. You got the engine sound. So let's go forward. Backwards. Left. Right. <laughs> oh, Tomo. Well, all right, so let's turn the sound off. So we got a little horn there. Hold that horn up, the whole the horn button down, it turns it off. All right. So the vibration thing, let's do it. So for being a non-portional vehicle, uh, it drives pretty good. Like it's a very slow speed that's very controllable. And I think you really would notice it too much on the camera there of it running. Now you also have to hold down that button. So that's how you operate that. But other than that, and the clicking sound, that is a, kind of a just a slipper clutch to let you know that you have turned your max ability. Uh, articulates, so not the best sharpest turn. And of course, you got the LED lights on top there that shows which way you're going. Like a six hundred burst thing here, <laughs> but still really cool. So we got the lights back there too. Alright my friends, so there you go. I hope that y'all liked this video. If you did, click, you know, smash that thumb like button. Comment down below if you have anything you want to say. And 
subscribe to the channel if you have not helped me grow my friends so thank you again for watching the video on this really cool very old <laughs> road roiler all right my thanks my my friends thank you for watching and i will see y'all later